With the new year comes a new tax code. So what should you do to take full advantage of the new law? Tips on saving our taxes with the new law. Straight ahead. <laughs> There's something else that's coming up this new year, the new tax code. You know, we've heard a lot about that after President Trump signed the sweeping tax bill into law earlier this month. Well, our next guest has some tips on how we can all make the law work for us. Let's bring in Chad Brownstein, the CEO of Rocky Mountain Resources, uh, joining us now. So, Chad, I mean, right now the average tax refund is like, they say, over $3,000. Uh, how do you think people can maximize this, you know, for next year? What do we do? you got to benefit your business. When you have a corporate tax rate of 21% and the ability to buy things and depreciate it immediately, your business is what's going to drive it if you own a small business. And if you own a large business, you're going to be busy buying capital equipment. So it's time to buy in America. Well, what if I don't own a business? Like, I don't own a business. I'm just sitting well, here at work, you know, getting a paycheck like everybody else. Uh, you if know, you're how, an, how can that benefit us? If you're an individual, the current tax rate has been lowered to benefit you. So you're gonna have more capital to spend on household goods and durables. You also have cheaper gas prices because the oil companies basically got a tax break out of this through the ability to depreciate assets. But are they really so gonna, the are they gonna, gonna really pass it. that on to us though? I'm sorry to interrupt, but are they gonna really pass that, low, that on to us as opposed to you know, having more profits? Well, well, you're, what you're going to see is that the oil and gas companies are going to directly benefit the consumer because the taxes at the pump are going to be less for them, allowing them to put more money into drilling, which is going to create more of an abundance in America, which is going to ultimately benefit the individual person who's at the pump by having a lower gas price. Wow. I mean, and, but what about the criticism that this is a giveaway to the rich, especially to the corporations, and that all this stuff is going to expire in, uh, you know, eight years or so? Well, what I've seen is that there's going to be a chance for laborers and unions to advance pay raises. With the tax cut comes the ability for the labor unions to get stronger, to say you as a company have more profits, you've got to pass that down to the partners who are helping build these companies. So ultimately, I believe this is actually a tax cut for the middle class and really not much more than that as, as far as super benefiting a segment of the population. Do you think it really will accelerate growth uh, as the president claims? I think there's no doubt about it. If you look at the ability to buy a good, have it depreciate immediately as opposed to 30 years, specifically capital equipment and infrastructure, you're going to see a lot of buying out in the oil patch. You're going to see buying out in the infrastructure world where I live. I know I'm buying trucks and cars that I never would have acquired or invested in my properties and assets, particularly in the mining space because now you get the benefit of a full tax refund on the capital cost and that's going to allow you to put money into projects there's basically an ability for companies to finance assets without going to third parties right. so it's a very right. smart thing to grow this economy All right. well i got i got a d minus in accounting in college i got an f that's why i transferred from the bus undergraduate business school to the college so you kind of lost me there but i do know one thing you got to prepay those uh, local taxes like you only have a few more hours. Is, does that really work? There's some question about the IRS on prepaying property taxes. A lot of folks have been doing that, rushing down to the local tax office. Yeah, well, there's a little confusion about it, and, and I believe that no one has the real answer yet. All right, it, well, can never hurt prepay, it can never hurt prepaying taxes because you're going to get the benefit of the long-term value of investing now, but nobody really knows at the moment. All right. Well, a lot of people have uh, prepaid to try to take advantage of next year. We'll see, see what happens. I guess you listen to your accountant or H&R H Block or TurboTax, whoever does it. Happy New Year. Chad, good to see you. Thank you. Happy see New Year. Goes, of course. All right, Thal?